Soccer fans around the world will be focused on the City of Angels this week, right here for the MLS All-Star Game in L.A. Christy Fajardo, she's live for us in Watts. This is where it's also a chance for soccer stars to do some real good in the local community before the big game on Wednesday. What a great assignment, Christy. It was a terrific assignment, a lot of fun, I got to tell you. It's been a week of celebrations ahead of that All-Star Game. Today is the All-Star Community Day, and to mark the occasion, take a look there behind me, they dedicated that blacktop now turned into futsal or mini pitch field. And as you can see, it was just dedicated two hours ago, but it's already being put to good use. In Watts, a new field of dreams, one that brought out community members and soccer VIPs and greats from MLS and Liga MX to Charles Drew Middle School. So where there's people, there's power. Where there's power, there is promise. Target and the U.S. Soccer Foundation unveiled this mini pitch field complete with floodlights, all to make soccer more accessible. No grass, no mud, no cleats required, just a ball, a sport that is known worldwide as the Great Uniter. They believe can also be an equalizer. Came out to a LAFC match at Bank of California Stadium, and I seen how much it was about community, how much it was a mix of culture. It was a melting pot of ethnicities and different races who were all chanting and screaming and beer and songs together. And I was like, wow, maybe this isn't just for one culture of individuals. Fields like this one have gone up in urban and rural areas throughout the U.S., all in underserved communities, 16 in the Los Angeles area, something that sports veterans like baseball's Nomar Garcia Parra, who's part owner of LAFC, is proud to be part of. From the beginning, LAFC's been about community first, whether it be our fans, the people, and those who come to see us, our neighbors, and most importantly, our city. The hope, a field that brought up soccer greats, may one day produce them. I think that it will it'll help us engage more at school because, you know, this is a fun activity that we can have at school. Soccer is also the biggest and greatest sport in the world, the most popular sport in the world. So that means if you just are able to experience it and is able to see what it's about, then you're able to understand that the world is such a big place and it's for everyone and not just one race. And the community is already taking advantage of that field over there. And who knows, maybe the next Megan Rapino or Lionel Messi is on that field as we speak. And the people who are involved in today's event say the fact that Los Angeles was able to attract the All-Star game just goes to show the growing influence of soccer or football, as everybody else calls it, here in Los Angeles. Live in Watts, I'm Christy Fajardo. Let's send it back to you. We love the influence out there. All right, Christy, thank you.